Good, good afternoon, folks, um, and uh, happy Happy Easter to all. Um, Easter is, uh, as you know, it's such a significant uh, Catholic feast, and uh, um, St. Paul says that you know if, if Christ hasn't risen from the dead, that we're, we're still in, in our sins. So. Uh, the actual Easter feast cannot be separated from from uh, the, the death of Christ on the cross. So it's, it's almost as if uh, Good Friday and Easter Sunday they're like the two sides of the same of the same coin. And in fact, St. Paul talks about the Easter mystery that or the Paschal mystery that which ultimately, of course, is the Passion, Death, and, and, and Resurrection of Christ. So. Um, uh, but I think right now, seeing that uh, it's, it's Easter Sunday. Uh, I think we just talk about about the event itself, the the, the resurrection, and and uh, fact that it it was such a such an, an earth shaking event that the apostles the apostles uh, the disciples they didn't believe that Jesus even though he had talked about it all the time they didn't believe uh, that he was going to rise from the dead uh, it, and if they did believe it for sure then they certainly wouldn't have they wouldn't they wouldn't have scattered on. on uh, before before Jesus died, died on the cross, uh, I mean, I think they they believed that uh, that once Jesus was dead, that, that was sort of in, in many ways it, it was the end of everything as far as they were concerned. And so the gospel reading, the gospel reading that uh, we we hear mostly on, on Easter Sunday morning is is the gospel reading of of Saint John, and in that gospel reading we, we find that. Uh, that Mary Magdalene, Mary Magdalene um, came to the tomb on very early in the dark, actually on, on uh, Easter Sunday morning. Uh, she was obvi obviously a very, a very courageous woman, and um, uh, she, because she anointed, wanted to anoint the body of Jesus, and all of a sudden, when she got there, she got there. She, she discovers that that uh, the stone has been rolled back, that the tomb seems empty, and so of course she got scared and. Uh, so she ran, ran off uh, looking for Peter and uh, looking for John, and, she, and when she when she saw them, uh, and obviously by then Peter had Peter had, uh, uh, you know, he had, he had denied Jesus by but by then obviously uh, he he had not necessarily gone to confession, but he certainly had had, be, had been reconciled. So uh, Peter and John came running to the tomb, and we know the outcome that is that um, when the, when they went into the tomb, they discovered that. Uh, that uh, yes, the body of Jesus had been begun, but the burial cloth had been had been left behind, and it wasn't as if the body of Jesus had been stolen, as if everything was taken away. Rather, the the burial cloths had been had been sort of uh, not just left behind, but had been had been folded up. So it's sort of an indication that uh, that wasn't just something that random thing. It rather it, it was a sort of a, it was a planned thing that that act, that actually happened. And then at the end of the story of the gospel reading for Sunday, it says. Uh, it says, referring to John, not not a Peter. It says he saw and he believed. Well, he didn't see. He didn't see Jesus rise from the dead. In fact, nobody. There were no. There were no actual eyewitnesses to the resurrection. Rather, uh, rather, I think what it was saying is that that John had had heard often enough while Jesus was alive that he was going to, that he was going to the rise from the dead. Finally, when he, when he, for for him this was enough evidence to believe that that Jesus that Jesus had actually risen from the dead. So this is what we call today the gospel Sunday's gospel reading is what we call an, an empty tomb story, which in in of itself doesn't give you much evidence. So uh, what, so nobody actually, as I say, saw Jesus rise from the dead. What we have besides the empty tomb story is we have appearance, appearance stories, and if we go to the to the uh, other gospel readings. Uh, we're going to find we're going to find several different several different instances where where Jesus the, the risen one appeared appeared to uh, appeared to Mary Magdalene and, and also to some of the disciples and then the, the gospel the first reading for Sunday really talks about uh, by the time that they, they by the, the first reading which which is uh, for Sunday uh, from the, from the Acts of the Apostles we find that obviously by then uh, Jesus had revealed himself to all his to all his disciples and. and and Peter sees himself as, as as a witness to the resurrection, and uh, 
which of course, uh, without wit without witnesses, without witnesses, uh, we would naturally have heard about it. So, they were the, the they were the orig orig original witnesses to the resurrection. But that is for for another day. For the moment, just uh, the realization that Jesus did rise from the dead. Uh, nobody actually saw him rise from the dead. We have an empty tomb story this weekend, and then in, in future, in future, in future future stories we have appearance stories and of course the realization of course that is that uh, in, in in our liturgical uh, situation Easter is not just a day rather it's it's a, it's a, it's a season we're going to have uh, seven Sundays seven Sundays of, of Easter at resurrection and Easter so we have plenty of plenty of opportunities between now and um, by the time Pentecost uh, comes around we've, we have plenty of opportunities to reflect upon different uh, different aspects of the tremendous mystery of the resurrection of Christ from the dead so thank you happy Easter and God bless <laughs>